Hi everyone, this is Candace Garrett, and today we're doing a video on what are called diamonds. Um, this is an exercise that will help you feel the levator ani, which is the innermost layer of musculature within the pelvis. Okay, and it's the hardest to access, it's a little subtle, but once you find it, it's not too difficult. So you're going to come onto your back, bend your knees, and place the soles of your feet on the floor. Place your hands on your pubic bone and walk your hands up just until it falls into soft space, right above the pubic bone. From here, if you were to lift your feet up, what you would notice is, did you see me rocking? And what you'll also feel is that the, the low belly mounds up into the hands. The levator ani doesn't actually come all the way up above the pubic bone, but it works in concert with the transverse abdominis. So this is what you're feeling. To engage the diamonds, you're going to draw up from the muscles of the pelvic floor. So you engage, you lift up through the perineum, the transverse perineal, and all the way up until the belly becomes hollow. So keep in mind that this is a pelvic floor exercise. That hollowness is coming from the lift of the pelvic floor, not from the belly itself. Pull up through the diamonds, and then lift your one foot off of the ground. And you should be able to keep the low belly down. And notice I'm not doing any rocking this time. Over time, what you can start to do is lift one foot up. If you can do one foot, maybe do two feet. Or do what, what is known as marching where you do one and then the other. Okay, and that's diamonds. That's the beginning of pelvic floor work as we go up into the abdominal work. Thank you for joining.